Hello, I'm Zach with Movie Castle, and today we're going to be talking about Bad Taste from 1987. Now this movie is directed by Peter Jackson, and fun fact, this is actually his first feature film. Um, kind of a interesting, a lot of people know uh, Peter Jackson primarily for the Lord of the Rings saga. Um, he actually was one of those directors that got himself a start off in horror. Uh, in addition to bad taste, he would direct Brain Dead slash Dead Alive, depending on uh, what country you're in. Uh, and he would also direct The Frighteners. Um, there's also another movie, Meet the Feebles, which is kind of a, a weird, like, uh, children's show style, but definitely not a children's show type movie. It's the other big people in costumes. Uh, I've not seen that one yet. I plan to watch all those movies, but <laughs> that's the one that I see the trailers from. I'm like, okay, what the heck's going on with this? Um, a weird, weird sense of humor, which is also present uh, in this movie. A weird, weird sense of humor. Um, but this movie also had a really interesting uh, production, uh, basically being a really small, basically micro-budget film. This is Peter Jackson and his friends shooting on the weekends for most of this movie. He would be at work five days out of the week, and while he was at work, he would come up for things for these characters to do, and then on the weekends, he would go and shoot that with his friends, and he's actually one of the characters in this movie. He's an alien. Um, and yeah, so the plot kind of rambles because of this. It's like, what did Peter Jackson think for these characters to do, to, to, to do this week? Okay, they're gonna do that. Um, and in turn, the beginning of this film is really meandering, uh, but by the time you get to the end, he had shot most of his movie, and then he showed it to the New Zealand Film Commission, and they were really happy and impressed with what he did, and gave him money to finish shooting. So you'll note at the end of this movie, the budget definitely ticks up. Um, the plot of this movie, you have a group of scientists that are going to this town, and the town's abandoned, and they find out it's because of aliens. The aliens have gobbled up everyone in this town, and these scientists are there to investigate, and they find the aliens are still there. And then it kind of, you know, becomes a fight between this small group of scientists and the alien uh, colony. Um, like I said, it kind of rambles at the beginning, but then the plot gets going. Uh, these scientists wandering around the woods in the small village for a lot, finding aliens and, you know, fighting small groups at the beginning. The aliens, they all have this uniform, a blue shirt with blue jeans. Um, and at first you're not even sure what exactly they are, but this is one of those cases where a cover definitely spoils it. Uh, well, I'm sure the back synopsis does as well, but, um... They look human to begin with, and then towards the end of the movie, they start to transform into these things you see on the cover uh, with these really weird uh, tilted heads, which actually, I read the IMBD trivia and they said those tilted heads were because um, he couldn't fit them in his oven when he was uh, baking them. Uh, Peter Jackson was making the, the costume, it wouldn't fit in his oven, so he had to squish all the heads back. Which is, is fun. Um, but really, even though this is low budget and kind of rambles, you see a ton of the heart behind it. And you also see his, his uh, want to choreograph a bunch of gags and not just have it be like, okay, and then they fight, whatever. As they fight, you know, like, two characters will swing and then the guy would, like, duck or something and their hammers would hit each other. And just fun little choreo choreography and and gags in that, which you do see in Lord of the Rings later. But yeah, it's a bunch of heart and effort that really shows through the low budget. I find that this is kind of like a weird uh, New Zealand alien-based version of the Evil Dead. Not near as gory as the Evil Dead, but yeah, it's a lot of the same heart that you see in Evil Dead is in this movie. Um, and fans of the first Evil Dead would probably be fans of this too. Um, I I really like this. Um, I found this Blu-ray version 
at a used movie store, uh, used stores, you see a bunch of weird stuff. That's not listed on Amazon. I'm wondering where that thing came from. Um, anyway, I definitely, it's kind of hard to find, but if you see it, I'd check it out. I think it's streaming on Prime right now. Um, anyway, uh, next week, I think I'm going to cover the burning, which I left in another room, otherwise I'd hold it up for you now. Uh, next week, the burning, and I'll see you guys then.